Hi, I'm Mariana Olszewski, author of Live It, Love It, Earn It, A Woman's Guide to Financial Freedom. I wrote this book to help empower women to create the life they really want. And that starts with taking control of your finances. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I struggled. I didn't start out with much. I grew up and had tons of debt and a job I didn't like. And when I graduated from college, I decided that I wanted a different life. I wanted to earn enough money so I can create the life I really wanted to. And I did. I followed my dream. I got it together and took charge of my money. And all the practical tools and tips and shortcuts in my book will help you have the financial life you want to too. So many women come to me and say they can't sleep because they're worried about their money, they're anxious about their credit card debt, they really want to make more money and they don't know how. And I don't want women to live like that. I don't want women to be scared of their money or their finances. So I put together a very practical book. It's all about living the life of your dreams and taking control of your money. One of my favorite tips is to use cash. You use cash for everything, whether it's a latte or a purse or if you're buying a big purchase like a refrigerator. When you use cash, you know how much you have and how much you have left after you purchase something. One way to become aware of how much money you really have and how much you're spending is to keep track of it in what I call a money diary. Get a three by five notebook and put it in your purse. Keep it with you all the time. And whenever you buy anything, put it down in the diary. At the end of the week or at the end of the month, you will be so aware of where your money is going. And the first step in changing your money habits is becoming aware of where your money is going. We all need a budget, but I hate the word budget. It sounds so restrictive, like you're on a diet you're never gonna stay on and you don't wanna be on. So I suggest using what I call a fun spending plan. It gives you the power to choose where you wanna spend your money and you can tweak it at any time. Women are always asking me how I started my own business, how I did it. These are the three things that you need to know to start your own business. The first is to follow something you really want to do, something you have passion about, not something your husband wants you to do or your parents want you to do, something that keeps coming up for you. The second thing is to get all your ideas out of your head and onto paper, it's what I call going from fuzzy to firm. Once your ideas are on paper, they're real. The third thing is to have a simple business plan, and I mean simple. It doesn't have to be as thick as a phone book. Five or six pages, clear and concise will do. My first business plan was under 10 pages. It helped me get clear about my goals and my financials and helped me find an investor. So once you have your finances in place, and this book is about getting your finances in place, then you have more time for balance in your life and creating a more fulfilled life. For instance, I love being with my little son and playing with him and my family and my sisters and my friends. I enjoy meditating at night or in the morning to bring peace and a sense of fulfillment and centeredness to my day. Once you have your finances in order, you have time to have a more balanced and fulfilling and centered life. Well, you can do this. I can show you how. I've been there and I've done it and I can help you through the practical tips and tools in my book to show you how to live the life you really want, to love the life you already have, and to earn enough to make it on your own.